And we welcome you to Heckman Gymnasium in Ottaville. It's Saturday night, non-league boys basketball. What a good one we've got for you tonight as the Big Green of Ottaville entertain the Bearcats of Spencerville. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, here we go. Big matchup. There's our producer, Kenny. Ken Reeker, ready to go here. And on paper, at least, partner, it looks like a pretty good matchup tonight here. A couple of teams that can score the basketball. Uh, Randy, where else would you rather be than right here right now? Two teams that are coming off really big wins last night. Spencerview got back to 2-2 two and two after getting a big win over Crestview. And then Ottaville had a big win over Fort Jennings last night. They're just sitting at 30-3-1. and one. So this game means a lot for both these teams moving forward. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about Spencerville. As you said, 2-2 uh, two and two lost their first two at St. Henry at Elida since then won over Fort Jennings last night at Crestview. And the Northwest Conference opener had to rally outscoring the Knights 20-12 to 12 in the fourth quarter to hand Crestview their first loss. And they got a couple of really special young players in the sons of head coach Kevin Sensiball with the sophomore Owen and the freshman Will. You think maybe they played a lot of basketball with Dad in the driveway and stuff? Absolutely. Will Sensiball, a freshman, is just absolutely fantastic, and his older brother Owen is, is just as good. And without those guys last night, Randy, they probably lose that game. Both of them were huge in the fourth quarter against Crestview. Yeah, each of them had seven in that rally. Owen ended up with 15, Will with 12. Will with a small sample size so far this young season, 17 points, three assists, one of three players in double digits per game for the Spencerville team that's scoring just a shame over 59 points a night. Yeah, 59 points a game, and they still don't really know what they're doing yet. So they have an opportunity to really explode moving forward. A lot of firepower on this Spencerville team. And have some size as well with the 6'6 senior Carter Sudoff, 11 points a game, and a 6'4 junior Carter Moore. 10.7 rebounds a night as well. Yeah, their physicality here tonight might be a great deal for Ottaville to handle. If they win the battle of the boards, this is going to bode well for Spencerville tonight. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineup tonight for the Big Green of Ottaville, who is in the middle of a big week. Uh, their lone loss was Tuesday night to a pretty good Antwerp team we've seen a lot over the years, 46-42. They were in action last night, defeating Fort Jennings 70-58, to where the Big Green had a pair of 8-0 runs in the fourth quarter to pull away, and it was some of the unusual suspects leading them in that when the 5'11 sophomore Ashton Miller ended up with 16. He came in averaging just three points a night. Michael Turnwall, the guy who can score the basketball, 5'10 senior at 9.5 a game at 15, and Keaton Schnipke added 14, so the leading scorer, Landon Horseman, not even among the tops in double digits last night. Yeah, Keith Udendorf had to look at uh, Ashton Miller and say, hey, buddy, let's keep doing that, right? Where you been all year? I like it when you're scoring 16 a game as opposed to three. Uh, playing uh, at quick of a pace on offense as Spencerville at 58 a game, maybe slightly better defense, allowing just to shave under 46. Yeah, I've spoke to Coach Utendorf in the past about his philosophy offensively, and he says, look, if you got a good shot early, why pull it back out to work hard to get another good shot? So he believes in pushing tempo, and if you got a good shot, go ahead and take it early in a possession. See the starting lineup there for the Big Green. A lot of names coming back. This is a team that's expected to make a lot of noise in Division 4. Yeah, I really like Horseman, right? Six foot four, 15 and 8 a game, and he shoots a high percentage at 64%. Something that's kind of been an issue with this Ottaville team, we'll touch on a little bit later, but their ability to make shots not exactly where they want to be so far early this year. Are, are you saying that's a, a key to the game in it, this one later it, on? It just might be. Alright, why don't we go ahead and get into our keys to the game tonight and let's start with the Bearcats of Spencerville. Well, it's Christmas time, Randy, so I'm dreaming of a deep three ball. Hey, this is a Spencerville team that's only making 30% of the three ball attempts. Going to have to do a better job tonight. Sense of ball makes sense. Boy, it sure does, right? Without Will and Owen last night, they probably get a loss against Crestview. Make sure those guys touch the basketball a lot. Get them in scoring position. And then number three, gifts for all. It's Christmas time. You have four or five guys that can score. Make sure you distribute the ball appropriately. I got to ask for sense of ball. Is that like a two for? You, it, you not know, I don't know which one, but if I say Sensiball, it doesn't I double my matter, chances. right? Right, right. I like that. Anyone so, named Sensiball, yeah, get him the ball. All right, I see what you got. I like that. On. Even even give it to the coach. Let him shoot. That's it. You probably would. All right, let's take a look at the keys of the game tonight for the Big Green of Ottaville. Uh, keep with that uh, Christmas team. Bailey Kiliki, make it. This is an Ottaville team that normally shoots really well, but Randy, they're at about 40% from the field this year. They're going to have to do a better job of making baskets at better than 40%. 
physicality. And Coach Utendorf really prefaced that loss against Antwerp because they were not physical against Antwerp. They're going to have to be physical here tonight because, as we said, this is a pretty good size inside the interior for Spencerville. And then number three, B. Grinchy. The Grinch, what's he like to do? He likes to steal, doesn't he? Well, if you have an opportunity, this team's only averaging eight steals a game. Play the passing lanes, get some free layups because when you get a steal, it usually results in a free layup, and that helps your field goal percentage. I like it. Be Grinchy, the Grinch is green. Yeah. Out of Bill's the big. See green. what I did there? I yeah. see. I'm starting to pick it up. All right. Figuring out what Miles Holiday is up to. Getting ready for the 22nd meeting all time between Ottaville and Spencerville. We'll have it for you next year on WOSM. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday, back with you here in Ottaville's. We're just about ready to go for the opening tip of this one. A good Saturday night non-league contest between four and one Ottaville, two and two Spencerville. As we highlighted the uh, top of our pregame. Each team coming off uh, big wins on Friday night. Ottaville, the white, uh, yellow, and uh, green. Spencerville going with what we've been told is the non-traditional red with the black numerals. I guess the normal away jersey is the opposite of black with a red numeral. That's what we are told, and a great offensive tip executed by Spencerville to get themselves the first possession of this game and already a turnover. It's going to be taken away as uh, Langhals with that one off the steal. Langhals will get the opening bucket of the night for the big green. Well, remember, one of our keys be Grinchy, right? Steal and convert, and Langhals did a great job of that. Now we're going to have a foul here on the drive in the lane. Well, anytime you let someone lead you through the key, it's going to be a bad omen defensively. That time, uh, Ottawa gets called for the foul back-to-back horse, back here. Horseman picks up the first. This one, I believe, is going to be more of a shooting foul. So we told you in the pregame, this meeting, the 22nd all-time between these two. Spencerville leads the all-time series 13-8. Bearcats also on a two-game winning streak. That streak snapped what was a four-game winning streak the previous four years by Ottawa as the first free throw by Carter or the 6'4 junior left a little short. Yeah, you saw him pull the string on that one. But he's been pretty good all year long early in the season with free throws, but an empty trip that time. Well, it's Landon Horseman comes away with a miss. He'll get the outlet out for Michael Turnwall. Turnwall to bring this one into the front court, flips to the right wing. Over to Trentman. Trentman nearly the ball knocked out of his hands. Still holds it, has his dribble, begins to use it, slides down. A little curly lemon dribbling exhibition put on. Now down to the low post. Good move, fighting his way to the basket. As Landon Horseman, he's able to score for the big green. Yeah, leading scorer on this team with 15 a game. Gets going early. And do you mean Curly Neal, not Curly Lemon? I did. I, I put two. <laughs> two Curly former, Lemon. I love two, it. Two former <laughs> Harlem Globetrotters put together. Now a third foul committed early here for Ottaville. Oh, you know, it wasn't water in that pal. It was all shredded paper. I know. You know yeah, I did know that. All right. Love oh. the Gold Trotters back in the day. That's, see, that's what I get when I try to make references from before my time. I'll just, but I, before your time, can you can I don't think can anyone name you? Uh, can can anyone name someone currently plays for the Harlem Globetrotters? Well, I remember Mark Titus did for a little bit. He was drafted by them. It was a good pass inside. As Carter Sudoff able to get in to score the first bucket of the night. For the Bearcats, yeah. now 4-2 here, six and a half to go, opening quarter. Uh, early uh, trouble for Ottaville with a dribble drive. That time a little dish uh, before it was a dribble drive that resulted in a foul. So the Ottaville going to have to do a better job of closing that door on dribble drive. Kick out was for Turnwald. He's going to get rid of the basketball. Dribble handoff comes back over to uh, Garrett Trentman. Trentman trying to get to the baseline, cut off, now picks up his dribble. Needs a little help. He'll get it. As this one will come through the paint. Now the kick out. Three ball from the wing on its way. And it's up and good. As Kenton Schnipke knocks down the triple for the big green. Yeah, holy Schnipke from way downtown. Seven points now for Ottaville. And 7-2 to on our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. Trying to get the look inside. Trying to turn around is Orr. He'll have to kick it out. Oh, driving off the wing, good drive to the basket as Evan Osting able to get in and score. Now Osting that time finished, a possession to go. He had the dish for our easy two. And a quick trigger on the other end, the big three up and good for the big green. 
Well, this is an Ottaville team that if they have a quality shot early, they'll go ahead and take it. Ten to four is a drive and offensive foul. As Landon Horseman able to draw the charge for the big green. All right, you're going to get a great shot of it right here. Good work by our camera guys. Probably the best camera guys we've had this year. You see in position. He was set. Good call by the official. Going to have a charge. So I'm going to tell you that again, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River in Spenceville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. And our instant replays tonight brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. 10-4 here early on, still five to go opening quarter. Ottaville out in front of Spencerville on that Charles River scoreboard. Nice drive in, getting the home roll. Snipke able to get to the basket. He's got five early on. Yeah, you try to get a steal, and you get nothing but an empty hand. You now play five on four, and Snipke made you pay. It dumps down underneath as Ottaville went for the double team. Left Carter or open, who's able to get the easy bucket for the Bearcats. That great court awareness by Owen Sensabal. Saw the open teammate. Go ahead and feed him the rock. Gifty for Horseman gets the kick out. Here's dribble drive off the wing. Floater on the left hand. No good by Ashton Miller. Miller again, the hot hand last night with 16 as the ball goes out of bounds. Spencerville's going to take over with the Rock. A huge break for Spencerville down by six. Ottaville's been very efficient offensively. Get a turnover that time. Spencerville very quickly bring this one into the front court. These, again, are two teams averaging right around 58-59 a game this day and age of high school basketball. That ranks in the top half, almost quarter. Pass is going to go all the way through the lane. I, Spencerville players let it go, so Ottaville didn't touch it. Tried the finger roll. That one's going to roll off the fingers, then off the shoulder of the would-be rebounder. Who's Ashton Miller, not a bound. Spencerville's going to catch a break. Yeah, it was Owen Sensible. It kind of got himself stuck in the midair. A good defense by Schnipke. Very fortunate for Spencerville that they maintain possession. Inbound pass comes in to Orr. Orr again trying to work down the low block, get a little too far under the basket. Nice job holding onto the rebound. Schnipke's, they'll get this one quickly into the front court. Corner three on the way. That's going to be up and good as Garrett Tretman knocks down the triple. Yeah, release, rotation, and splash for Tretman. And it is raining at three balls early here in Ottaville. I want to tell you that our quarter sponsors, Matt's Heating and Cooling, as we'll have a little bit more time on the foul, is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. You know, just a little bit of a glimpse of the explosiveness of Will Sensible that time. One dribble and then explodes to the rim, gets himself to the free throw line, makes the first one. And that is... The Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw Line. Visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Yeah, just a little one-man pressure that time by Spencerville. Make it a little bit difficult to get the ball in for Ottaville. Sense the ball knocks down both free throws, 15-8 to eight on our Charles River scoreboard. That leads extended as Adam Brinkman knocks down the triple for the Big Green. That's their fourth here in the opening quarter. Well, that's big for Brinkman. Only 29% from behind the arc this year. 100% that time. Ottaville on fire behind the arc. Or the kick out. That one nearly taken away. Elbow jumper gets the bounce. And it's going to be good as Owen sends the ball. Breaks into the scoring column for the first time tonight. Spencerville not playing at their best, but still kind of hanging around. Down by eight. This is an extremely hot shooting Ottaville team that won't continue this toward pace. 18 to 10 here. Still two and a half minutes to go in our opening quarter. Ottaville with the basketball nearly turned it over. They've got it into the hands of Schnipke. Schnipke driving the lane. Can't get it to go as he is chested up defensively. As Sudoff came away with a rebound out very quickly. We've got Spencerville bringing it into the front court. Loose ball on the floor. We're going to get a whistle and I believe a foul coming here. Uh, this is actually a pretty good call. And normally, when it's a scramble like that, and one guy dives and tries to grab the basketball, they say, well, it's going to be a jump ball. Yeah, but if you go from behind and you make contact before touching the basketball, that is a foul. Good job by the officials getting that one uh, ratcheted up. Now it's Carter Sudoff that's going to get his first. 
215 and counting left to go open the quarter on our Charles River scoreboard now 18-10. Saw the replay on our simplified flooring replay. Uh, with the basketball, trying to go baseline. Tough shot put up there. Michael Turnwald is going to have it turned away. And here comes Spencerville in transition, but they'll hold up. As will Sensabaugh. Comes around the perimeter. He'll give it behind him. Now gets the basketball back. Once a screen, this will drive into the corner. Finds the cutter open. Baseline jumper rolls off. His brother Owen can't get it to go, but the putback's going to be up and in. A little basketball car uh, karma right there for Carter Sudo. Set a great screen to start the action, but rolls back to the low block and gets the errant shot. When you do things right, like set a screen, you get rewarded on an offensive rebound. Makes it a six-point game here, 18 to 12. Just over a minute left to go. A very fast-moving opening quarter. It's the entry pass inside Horseman. Horseman trying to turn around. He's going to get pushed, and we'll get a Spencerville foul. Yeah, watch this little drop step. This is a fantastic move. Going towards the right, spins back to the left. You're going to get the foul call. That's going to be the number two on Carter Sudhoff for Spencerville. So he will sit down. Also saw a substitution come in for Ottaville here. Baseline drive cut off as Miller's got nowhere to go. This pass back up top of the key is going to be knocked away. Spencerville will force the turnover. Now loose ball picked up by Orr. Orr is going to get rid of it over to Will Sensabaugh. Will the freshman trying to get into the paint gets the kick out. Three from the wing off the side of the iron. And it is Miller of Ottaville with a rebound. Long pass ahead as the green leak out. Ottaville and Miller wanted it back. Instead, they'll go inside. Turnwall. Turnwall is going to lose the handle. Ball still loose on the floor. Finally picked up by the Bearcats. Uh, if you're Spencerville, do you go ahead and hold with 36 seconds left? Guess not. Nope. It's going to be Sensiball going right to the rack where he's able to score. No, one step dribble and attack by Sensiball. He's got four the other end. No good by Miller. Rebound pulled down by Spencerville again as they'll walk this one into the front court with Ostick. A little surprised Ottaville went so quickly with under 20 seconds. Going to allow Spencerville an opportunity to take the last shot of this quarter. Sensiball with a dribble handoff needs a little bit of help. Osting with it. It's going to be out of bounds. Turnover on Spencerville. And Ottaville will get the final opportunity here. Seven and a half seconds to go in the opening quarter. Now Schnipke checks back in for Ottaville. Randy, a little bit uh, disappointed for Spencerville that they turned the ball over right there because they weathered the storm in this first quarter, right? Would have had an opportunity to get the last shot of the quarter. So very quickly, Turnwald brings this one into the front court. Long three, nearly good. And that's going to do it for our opening quarter. Fun first eight minutes of action here in Ottaville. Big green up, 18-14. We'll take a break on WOSF. 18-14, Ottaville with lead over Spencerville after one quarter of play. But, partner, like you said, this was 18-10 with about a minute and a half left. And you thought the chances were this one could end up a runaway. And Spencerville able to battle back. Not the greatest possession to end the quarter, but still in this down a couple of possessions. Yeah, Spencerville did a much better job high, uh, dealing with the high screen and getting shooters free by Ottaville. And you just knew Ottaville was kind of kind of come back down to earth, right? They got out shooting extremely well. And then Spencerville started attacking the, the lane with a dribble drive. Something Ottaville's going to have to deal with. Ottaville's going to have the opening possession here of quarter number two, but that one's going to be thrown away. So they'll turn it over to Spencerville. And they got the universal pat to chest. My bad on that one. Uh, first time tonight for Ottaville, showing a little bit of a pressure here. Yes, showing some three-quarter court. Spencerville looks like they're going to break that. No problem. By the way, your JV game tonight won by Ottaville. 45-32. There's a dribble. Drive about that lane off the window and in by the older, and by that we mean the sophomore. And Owen sends ball a great play to keep that ball alive after it headed out of bounds. I uh, said, uh, you talked about my little brother being quick. I got some quicks also. If your name is Sensabaugh, you can move. There's one right there trying to dump that down underneath. That ball's going to be saved in the corner by Orr. Orr gets the kick out top of the key for Owen. Owen to the rack again, rolls it in, and he'll get the air <laughs> And a little finger roll. Watch it behind the back, a little dipsy do. I'm going to elevate. And then George Gervin can finger roll, but so can I. Oh, that was sweet. And again, Owen, Owen Sensabaugh. 
Our instant replay tonight brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Free throw is no good. That is a Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. So unable to convert the three-point play, but more importantly, ties it up with a basket. 18 all on our Charles River scoreboard here. A minute gone by in our second quarters. We're going to have a stoppage and an off-ball foul jostling for position down in the low block. Yeah, this is a housekeeping foul, right? You're the, the official on the baseline. You got to make sure the big guys inside are playing nice. You know, a little bit of a hook, you're going to call it, make sure it doesn't get too physical. Out of a little bit of trouble inbounding the basketball, but they'll get it into Schnipke. Schnipke, a little spinneroo, can't get it to go. And fighting over everyone is Carter Orr for the rebound. And this one's going to go on Ottaville as the official does point the other direction here. Yeah, you see Schnipke kind of lose control on the spin move, throws it up on the glass, and they're going to get a foul by Horseman over top. That's already Horseman's second foul. That's a, a big foul early in this second quarter. What do you do if you're Keith Utendorf? You, you let him sit the rest of the quarter, or you bring him back in, risking a chance that he get that third one? The scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Spencerville is going to turn this over with an over and back call. Now how about the patience exhibited there by Kevin Sensiball? Sees his son just kind of dribble it everywhere, but where it should go, getting over and back call, and he just looks at him and kind of claps his head. It's all right. It's okay. I'm not sure I could do that, Randy. That's an unforced error. That drive me nuts. Well, after the up and down action of the opening quarter, we've been stuck at 18 for a while now here in quarter number two. Michael Turnwall trying to drive the basket. We're going to get a whistle and foul before the shot. We're going to wave that off. Uh, if this was NBA, continuation, baby. But this is high school basketball. You're going to get the whistle right there. And smart play, though. You get the whistle, go ahead and throw it up. Turnwall gets it to go, but it's going to be committed before the, the shot went up. And it's going to go on Owen Sensabaugh, his first. Team second here, 6-20 and counting. Left to go second quarter in an 18-all game. Andy Mormon, number 23 for Ottaville with this one right now. Trying to leave it top of the key. It's going to be knocked away. His oar has been all over the place for Spencerville. Able to outrace everyone to knock that one away. Got an early candidate for our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. This ball's eventually knocked out of bounds. That was a really smart play by Owen Sensiball because he made sure he was across the timeline before he caught the pass. And how about the effort there? As you talked about, you got to love seeing guys lay out on the floor because you know what? That's not a soft landing. That hurts. <laughs> you, are, you are correct, sir. A call for the basketball down on the low block. Michael Woods, Woods able to have that one roll off, and we'll get a whistle and a foul. Well, he missed the layup. What do you have to do? Time tested, right? Foul, yeah. That's a foul. Second. You know, Woods definitely frustrated. You have a bunny. What have given your team the lead? You, you miss it. Frustration comes out, and you commit the foul. Evan Osting will head back into the lineup for Spencerville. So it looks like Ashton Miller back in for Ottaville. He's going to take over at the point for the Big Green. Still tied at 18 here. 5.45 and counting left to go opening half on our Charles River scoreboard. We'll get a stoppage here. Quick whistle and foul. So it's about the four minute mark of this game. Spencerville has done a great job of being aware of where the ball's at and putting ball pressure on. Early in this game, great example right there. Early in this game, Ottaville is just passing it on the perimeter free with no ball pressure, but since then, Spencerville has come up and gotten their grill, making things difficult for Ottaville. Sensiball knocks that one away. It's Owen Sensiball forces the inbound from side court, where once again, we see Ashton Miller have come to the backcourt to get it. Coming all the way across the lane, Mormon. Mormon nearly lost the handle. Up for Turnwald. Turnwald, again, a little spin, a little stop. And he's going to get the bucket. Yeah, good physicality by Turnwall to go through the contact. Hung in the air. Got a little bit of a smooch for the two. Puts Ottaville back in front by a pair. And now trying to match a little too strong that time out of Will Sensenball. But it looks like we're going to see a couple Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming here. Yeah, see it on the backside, right? The miss. Quick re reaction by Grady Smith, and they're going to get the foul. And uh, the green and gold people, they don't like this call. 
amateur official said, no, 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 sir, that was not a foul, but it's going to be the third yeah. on Mormon. It's the first of two free throws, no good, as Grady Smith heads to the line, like Miles said. Not a great free throw shooting night so far for Spencerville. They've left a lot of points at the free throw line. Smith able to knock down the second. So I got the two from Will Sensabaugh, and that's the only other made free throw. A behind the back pass coming around for Schnipke. Schnipke will leave it underneath on the baseline. Andy Mormon able to get it and score. A good cut by Mormon. Recognized his man, lost sight of him. Make the backdoor cut. Gets rewarded. Mormon becomes the seventh different player for out of the score here in this opening half. Big Green lead this one by three. Ostick trying to figure out what to do with the basketball as he's defended by Schnipke. Sends the ball, able to drive again. Can't get it off the window. Offensive rebound. And that's going to be up and good. Carter Orr continues to work hard. Yeah, Carter Orr averages seven rebounds, and you see why. He is tenacious on the board. Tremendous offensive work. He's got a second basket of the night. Makes this a one-point game. Ottaville being patient. They go inside again. Good turnaround. That one will roll all the way around and go for Keaton Schnipke. Now, what an efficient post move. Just a little baby hook. Of course, here at home, you get that little touch. Schnipke with seven. Owen oh, sends the ball. Get rid of this one. Wing jumper is going to be no good. Nice job for position on the rebound. Turnwald. Michael Turnwald fires this ahead. Schnipke. Schnipke back to Turnwald. Turnwald holds. Starts. Gets into the lane. Good turnaround. Puts that up. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound pulled down there by Brinkman. Can't get that. Third effort. Nearly knocked away. Finally, it ends up Schnipke open for three. He's able to knock it down. Come on, Schnipke. Second time, he's dialed up long range. Big time for Ottaville. It's going to lead to a timeout, and our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger's Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 27-21 Ottaville here on WOSN. 27-21 here, 317 left to go in our uh, opening half. Spencerville. Seen that uh, lead get away from him a little bit. So quick 30-second timeout to regroup. Trying to answer three in the corner. That hits off the side of the backboard. Stays in play in the offensive rebound. Osting and put that back up and in. Yeah, Osting was just tenacious. Went and got, actually got fouled after the rebound, but didn't bother himself and just went up strong. Used the glass to get it. Brinkman had the basketball. And here's Schnipke. Schnipke starting to dribble drive. Can't find anything. Turns it hands for Turnwald. Turnwald gets his screen back to Schnipke. Schnipke thought about the three. He's already in double digits with 10 thanks to a couple three-pointers. Spins. Gets his defender in the air. 12-footer 12 12 rims out. And Orr pulls down the rebound. Now Schnipke did this about everything right except for make the shot. Sensabaugh trying to hold on to the basketball. Protected it from the defenders but missed the runner. Now it's Ottaville in transition. They'll turn down the corner three, trying to run more time off this clock. It's been a very entertaining opening half of basketball. Miller now trying to get into the paint. He goes up and left hand, gets that one to roll off the rim. And now here comes Spencerville. They have numbers, and the bucket's going to be good, and Osting will have a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, way to get the basketball up the floor. And then recognize your man has beaten me, beaten your man. So go ahead and attack the lane. And then Osting gets himself to the line. And, and partner, I think that is a, a huge foul for Ottaville against Schnipke. That's his second. Osting able to knock down the free throw. He's got seven again of free throws tonight. Are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. With locations in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken or Home Style happens here. Now do yourself a favor. Get some of those mashed potatoes and gravy. And Ottaville also with a timeout. So we can take care of a little uh, bookkeeping here. Our timeout sponsors, our timeouts tonight are brought to you. That's what I meant to say. Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 or visit Metzger Financial Services. 
Heating.com. We also want to tell you that our quarter sponsor tonight, Matt's Heating and Cooling, is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. That's all I got to say so to you now. I got everything, out of, everything taken care of. I thought you were going to talk about how good the macaroni and cheese are. Well, I did learn this morning, thanks to Miles' uh, – now, we, we know about Out of Bounds, but is that your radio color analyst debut? It was for 93.1, the fan. Yeah. That was a good time working with Billy Elvis, the living legend. So, understand there's three locations in Lima of Lee's famous recipe chicken. And Billy Elvis has visited all of them. A really good set coming out of the timeout by Coach Utendorf. Ran a little one, a four on a side set. You got uh, Miller Free, who had, as you said, 16 last night. Goes with the left hand, couldn't finish it. They're going to commit the foul and put Osting at the line. That is the uh, fifth team foul this quarter. So, again, the uh, new NFHS rules, five team fouls per quarter means the two free throws. This is where Miles says, no, but we, we like the one and one. And I say, well, no, that's that's old. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to start to petition. Get the T-shirts ready, bumper stickers, bring back the one and one. Hosting able to knock down both free throws. So after struggling earlier, Spencerville's got that cleaned up. And on our Charles River scoreboard, the Bearcats are back in front here, 28-27, with about 20 to go in our opening half. Well, it shows you the... the Character and intensity that this Bearcat team showed last night at Crestview, that wasn't an aberration. This is their identity, right? They have worked extremely hard. They have been tough as nails to get back in this game and take the lead. The ball lost out of bounds in the corner. It's going to be a turnover. So Spencerville will get this back with the opportunity to add on to what is currently a one-point lead. As Will sends the ball very quickly, brings this one into the front court. Gives it out. Wing three is going to be no good. Flying in for the rebound is Miller. Miller with a handoff for Turnwall. Turnwall gets a long pass. Shipke sets his feet. Let's fly from three. That's his spot in that right wing. Can't get it to go. Rebounds out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Spencerville. Now, next time Schnipke catches one on the perimeter and shoots a three, let me know if you think he travels. He, I, I think he gets a you little. See, he yeah. does get a running start. Yeah, he gets yeah, a, a, a I little. I did notice that the last time. Yeah, gets a little hop step that gets his momentum going up. As some officials might think those are a little baby steps for a travel, but they're establishing that's what he does. 40 seconds of counting left to go here, opening half. One knocked away. Miller tried to tip that to himself. Does get it to Mormon, who's able to finish with a basket. Yeah, great job by Miller getting the steal, but more importantly, on the finish, kind of a moving screen to shield it off for his teammate. Just getting out of the way. Yeah. Just getting out of the way. Smart play. Puts Ottaville back in front here in our final few seconds of the opening half. Oh, and Sensabaugh tried breaking the sound barrier to bring that into the front court. Off the screen, top of the key, Grady Smith with it. Now they get it inside, trying to go to Orr. Orr trying to knock down his defender. Fade away from the low block is good. As the uh, defender said he took a shot. And now we're going to get a whistle. And are we going to go ahead and call a half? It was a great move by Orr going at Schnipke because he knew Schnipke saddled with two fouls, right? Doesn't want to pick up that third one going into the half. Goes right through him. Physicality supreme for Spencerville. So you see the ball boys run out and give the officials water. I don't think they realize that the whistle was because it's halftime. 30-29 at the break. What an entertaining first half of basketball we've had. And we'll have more for you after this here on WOSN. Randy Roberts and Miles Holiday back with you here from Ottaville. What a very entertaining first half of basketball we've had for you so far. 30-29, to the Bearcats of Spencerville out in the front by a one-point margin partner. It's been fun, and the best part is we apparently have new recruits working for WOS here tonight running the cameras. Yeah, young man Trussell on the camera. Can, can, Ken, can we move the camera to take a look at him? You, you'll have to physically All move right. the camera. Right, so, uh, we'll oh, get it that it, way. Yeah, there we there, go. There, so. Say hi, Trussell. Say, wave, wave. Go ahead and wave. Wave, yeah. There yep. you go. And yes, his folks are big Ohio State fans, if you're wondering. So Trestle is 12, 
Gio helped out a little bit, but I guess he's got the team huddle cam done on the other end, so we appreciate them. So uh, when when people joke around, like, oh, Max. And Max. Max and Max. There. So he helped out as well. So uh, when when you see us and you get, and, and our friends, Joe, uh, anyone can do your job. Well, literally, we found out tonight that <laughs> literally anyone can do our job. So we, we appreciate uh, the three of them helping us out. So uh, it's been, been an interesting night here in Ottaville. Spencerville with the basketball first as we begin the second half. So look inside. Orr's going to have it poked away. Landon Horseman able to just punch that out. It's a turnover to begin the second half, and the Big Green have the basketball. Yeah, tremendous help defense by Horseman, or else it was going to be a layup opportunity for Spencerville under first possession. Call for it is Horseman. Horseman along the baseline has to kick it out. That ball is going to be thrown away, so teams will trade turnovers. Yeah, I thought you were going to zig, but you zagged, and I threw it to the zig, and you zagged, and another turnover, and Coach Utendorf just he's talking to himself, staring at the ground over there. That uh, the occasional red face kind of sticks out with that uh, green pullover he's got with the Ottaville Block O, which I'm sure Miles will probably admit the greatest school logo that he's probably ever been to. It is fantastic. It's my first trip here calling a basketball game, and I love our sight line. This is fantastic way up here in the uh, crow's nest. Look inside, or continuing to muscle hard, can't get it to go. Putback was no good. He'll get it for third effort. That one was knocked away as Michael Turnwell is going to come out of the pile with a basketball. This is where Ottaville was at their best. Pushing tempo, getting themselves a free shot. That time they got up the floor first, and it's Trentman that gets the opportunity with about a 15-footer. That puts the big green back in front, 31-30 in our Charles River scoreboard. Fallaway jumper on the other end is going to be no good. Horseman comes away with a miss, and Ottaville pushing in transition again, like Miles mentioned, we talked about it at the half. This is an Ottaville team that you don't really see a lot offensively anymore in high school basketball. Everybody is moving. Yeah, everybody moving all the time, and they're at their best when they push tempo, get up the floor, and then just like that, explode by a guy, but you got to finish. And, Randy, they don't hold the ball a great deal. They move it quickly. A tough angled shot was no good. It's going to allow Spencerville to get down to the other end of the floor where Carter Sudoff able to finish that as Spencerville reclaims the lead. Yeah, Sudoff, the biggest player on the floor at 6'6", uses that length to finish. Coming around is Chase Langhalls. Langhalls got some foul trouble, didn't see a lot of him in that opening half, but he's able to score for Ottaville. Yeah, I liked it going right at Owen Sensabaugh, making him play defense, and you know, Ottaville, you can tell, they spent some time talking about what to do with Will Sensabaugh. Let's make his life difficult in the backcourt. Didn't have a lot of trouble with that pressure, but how about the spin and the able to score out of the freshman? Oh, let's say some playground time, huh? Will, sensible, sensational. He's got six here as we've traded the lead a couple of times each way early on in this third quarter. Snipke starts to drive, spins, sticks those feet in the ground, can't get it to go. The rebound tips straight up. Finally, Sudov able to come away with it, and the ball ends up in the hands of Will Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh explodes by his defender. Now this time it's the kick out. Orr gives into the corner with a three. He's going to be up and good by the older of the two in Owen Sensabaugh. Owen Sensabaugh likes two. He likes two, but he really loves three. Big time for Spencerville. Four-point leads, biggest anyone's had in a while on their scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. Premier Pharmaceutical Research Facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs at criver.com to apply today as we take a look at the simplified flooring replay. Now, is this going to be clean? I thought Sensible got it clean right there, but they're going to say the help maybe came up. No, they're actually going to give it to Owen Sensible. And, ooh, a little injustice right there, partner, because I thought that was as clean as could be. Big time block. Sometimes the officials anticipate it, though, right? Mm-hmm. It's the second one on Sensabaugh, so Turnwald able to knock down the first of two Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws. Visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Davos, and St. Mary's. He'll miss the second, and rebound is fought for it, claimed by the Bearcats. Bring this one into the front court, holding on to a three-point lead. Sensabaugh switches hands, can't get it to go. Putback rolls off the rim. 
third effort is going to be up and good as Sudov able to work hard inside. He's got eight. Yeah, second time he's used that large frame to clean up garbage. It was the explosion by Sensiball, but able to finish and clean it up. They got numbers. Langhouse unable to finish. A little bump and will get a foul as Will Sensiball had a clear path to the rack. Just knocked down. Yeah, in the NBA, this is going to be a shooting and out of bounds. But I, I tell you what, if I'm out of it, I like that foul, right? It was going to be an easy layup, make it a little more difficult. And they're not going to say he was shooting. That's going to be out of bounds. That's rough. Spencerville, three off the inbound is going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Adam Brinkman. And as the big green will bring this one into the front court. Yeah, wound up being a great foul by Miller. Baseline drive's going to be taken away. Sensible with it. Sensible is going to try to beat everyone down the floor with a left. Can't get it to go. But will Sensible able to draw the foul? He'll go to the free throw line. Action's going to come right at you. Yeah, right into your couch. Don't get up. Hangs in the air. Uses the left hand. Couldn't get it to fall, but that's okay. He's going to get two shots. So will Sensible heads to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line where he's able to knock down the first one. In between the free throws, we can tell you that our quarter sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Second free throw halfway down the cylinder before it spits back up and out. Now, Ottaville needs a basket in the worst way. Snacking on some danger early here in the third. Down six here, 340 and counting left to go on our Charles River scoreboard. Kick out into the corner with it now Brinkman. Brinkman picks up his dribble. He's gonna need some help. Does find someone in Horseman. Horseman with a kick out. Over to Miller. Miller gets into the lane. Miller back to Horseman. Horseman through a double team. And we'll get that one to fall through. Yeah, man size move by Horseman. This wills that one in through the contact. Ottaville needed a bucket, he delivers. Horseman with four. At the other end, Sensiball unable to get the basket. Now here comes Ottaville again. Miller's been held scoreless so far. Three's off the side of the backboard. And now it is the Cats in transition. Lamp's going to be no good as Grady Smith got himself a little too far under the basket. Pull-up jumper from the elbow. The other end is a good one for Michael Turnwald. And we're going to get a quick timeout as Ottaville wants to talk about things defensively. So a quick 30-second timeout. Taken by Ottaville, want to tell you their timeout sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Now, Grady Smith, Cardinal Sin, right? You go up for a layup without making your eyes go up first. So you kind of lose where you're at. Next thing you know, you miss a bunny, and Ottaville comes down and buries a 15 footer. Really, four point swing in a matter of seconds. And almost came the length of the floor to commit the foul. You saw the stop start, and he almost had the contact at the top of the key. He was able to get uh, out of that one. I've been impressed with both teams. They had opportunities. First, it was Spencerville early in this game to kind of fall away and give up. But they rebounded and showed some toughness. Now it's Ottaville here in the second half making a run after Spencerville went out in front by six. Both teams showing some character. Yeah, weren't quite sure what we were going to see out of Spencerville. Came in at 2-2, two and two, just came to Crestview. It's first loss of the year on Friday night. This is a team that you would think, if they play this way, easily is going to finish in the top half of the Northwest Conference this year. Well, anytime you have really good guard play, you got a chance, right? Spencerville has that. The ball out of bounds is going to stay with the Bearcats as we will see uh, Garrett Trentman back into the lineup. You think Will and Owen have to look at Dad once in a while at the house and say, Dad, can we not talk basketball for a while? No, I don't think that happens at all. The drive nearly losing his balance. Good turnaround as Owen sends the ball. Able to get in the double digits now. He's got 11 with that basket. That shows his athletic ability, falling away from the basket, but kept his eyes on the rim the whole time. Trick shot artist. Four-point lead now for Spencerville. Stratman comes up top of the key. He's going to get rid of it. Mormon gets it into the corner. Three ball, hits the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, pulled down by Miller. Can't get that one. And it is Will Sensible. Comes out of traffic with a basketball. 
Long pass comes ahead into the corner. This one is going to be a whistle. And we saw two bodies for Spencerville hit the deck. We'll see what the foul is going to be on. Well, I'm not sure how one is on the shooter in the corner. <laughs> we saw kind of the, the chop. Yeah, they're, they're going to whistle Carter Sudoff with a, uh, a Russian sickle to get himself free on the low block. Either that or it was a lariat, but he used that left arm to clear it out to get the spot. But early in that play, I'm not sure how Will Sensiball made that pass to the corner because he rose. It looked like he was going to go across court, and then last second throws it in the corner. And Kevin Sensiball, he just does not understand how that call was made against his team. That's yeah, a tough break. Sudoff will have to sit uh, down as he picks up his third foul. Miller trying to get under the basket, one-handed, can't get the reverse layup, but the ball saved from going out of bounds by Brinkman, and the Big Green will get another opportunity here. Now, too much hands out on the perimeter. Straight on three is left short. Owen Sensiball comes around with a miss. Sensiball trying to beat everyone down the floor, leaves it underneath, using the window as Michael Woods as he gets his first basket of the night. Yeah, big bucket for Michael Woods and another turnover by Otterville. Here comes Spencerville once again, waiting for all five to get in the front court. Sends the ball for three, hits the heel of the iron, and Horseman comes away with a miss. And Otterville quickly brings this into the front court with Miller. Miller with a spin, nearly lost the handle, gives to the trail. Who is Horseman? Horseman to the basket off the window and in. Yeah, nice little move by Horseman. You see him cleared out with his forearm. Get a little separation. The big post player, he knows what he's doing in the low block. It's like Miles trying to create a little room at the buffet either before or after the game. Hey, that last cheese, a piece, a piece of cheese pizza I'm getting. Oh, offensive foul is going to wipe away Spencerville basket. No, you're going to see it coming right at you. Here's the dribble drive again to dish off. And the continuation is what they're going to call by Owen Sensiball. After he made the pass, he continued on his path. Ottaville was set. Easy call by the official. It's going to be his third, so now Spencerville will very simply and easily replace one sensible with another sensible yeah with 26.5 left in the in the quarter smart move bring him back a, maybe a minute into the fourth quarter and, and let him play on and our instant replays tonight brought to you by simplified flooring we make flooring simple wing jumper is going to be no good rebounds knocked out of bounds it looks like it's going to belong to the bearcats hmm. interesting that that's the shot you settle with with 13.8 left down by four now we'll see what Spencerville will do in what could be the final possession of the quarter. Will Sensabaugh gets rid of this one. A high dribble. Most things say will held onto it. Dangerous pass inside's knocked away, and that's going to do it for our third quarter. Uh, action continues here. 44 to 40 after three. We'll take a break here in WOSF. 44-40, Spencerville with lead over Ottaville as we head to quarter number four. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday with you here on WOSN. Been a fun one here. So I believe our, uh, at least our crew making their first trip to Big Green territory. Yeah, it's kind of been a heavyweight fight, right? One guy gets an early advantage, throws some haymakers, and it looks like they're going to win the fight, and then the, the next guy kind of, gathers himself and throws some haymakers back. This has been a really entertaining game, and Randy, don't be surprised if we get some free basketball at the end of this. Schnipke lost the handle. He was held scoreless after getting into double digits in that opening half and able to convert on the other end will be Grady Smith as he gets his first basket to extend that Spencerville lead to six here early in our fourth quarter. Yeah, I got to make Grady Smith feel good. Remember, he had that opportunity on a layup by himself that missed. Gets one to go that time. Schnipke falling away, is able to get that. So we talked about being scoreless in the uh, third quarter. Able to get one here early in the fourth. Is on the other end. Ball's going to head out of bounds. Going to stay Spencerville ball here. Yeah, for a post player that doesn't have a lot of lifts like Schnipke, you better be very efficient with your moves and have many in your toolbox. He's got just that, doesn't he? He's played well here with 12 to lead the big green. They're down four, seven to go. Corner three, up and good. A great shot, but it was Carter Orr that set the screen to get him free. Extends this lead now to seven, biggest of the game. Osting hits that three. He's got 12 now. Missed shot on the other end by Ottaville. Now Spencerville being smart, 
taking their time with a seven point lead. There's oh, one oh, left oh, underneath, oh, great pass, as Sensiball will find Woods for the bucket. Oh, the killer crossover, and then the little dime to the big fella underneath. Oh, he's got some quicks. And Ottaville will take a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Metzger Financial Services, Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. With the timeout, we'll step aside watching high school basketball on WOSF. 51-42, Spencerville pulling away here. Don't know if we've had anyone lead by double digits. I believe our biggest lead of the night before this was Ottaville at 18-10. And this one, as Miles likes to say, see Ottaville maybe snacking on a little danger. Well, you're snacking on danger early down four. Buddy, they're dining on danger right now, and dessert's on the way. They better uh, do something quickly with only 6.28 left. Great night here in Ottaville. Big Green trying to continue their good start at four and one. Taking over at the point this time, Turnwall to get rid of the basketball. Horseman with it. Horseman with a handoff. Langhalls. Langhalls at the wing. Gets it rid of it to Schnipke. Schnipke working inside. Can't get it to go. Second effort off the glass and in. Uh, just tenacity. I like it. Go to your, your big fella down knee, down underneath. And Schnipke delivers. There's a jumper in the lane. No good by Will sends the ball. Ottaville with it again, trying to cut into this lead. Kick out, Schnipke open from the wing. Three is good. Well, Coach Udendorf said in that timeout, hey, you know what we should do? Let's get Schnipke involved. That was the right choice. Five points in a short period of time for Schnipke. He's got 17 now. Owen Sensible trying to get to the basket. Can't get it to go. He'll tell you that was a pass the entire way as Carter Sudov able to score for the Bearcats. Yeah, Sudov does what you want of a post guy, just hang out inside and clean things up. Little heat check there out of Schnipke with someone left open on the other end, beating everyone down the floor. Owen Sensabaugh, he'll able to finish with the basket. He's got 13 as that leads back to eight. That yeah, transition is killed out of Hill. Spencerville gets the ball up floor in a hurry. They get rewarded again. Schnipke again, likes that spot at the wing, and for good reason, as he knocks down his fourth triple of the night. Nah, he's not a shot taker, partner. He's a shot maker. Holy Schnipke, now up to 20. Now 55-50 in our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. Bearcats are going to take a little time. Both teams playing right at their season average offense output so far tonight. Cats want to make sure they get a good shot. They'll get the wing jumper. That's going to be good. At, uh, was that Evan Osting? That yeah, was Evan Osting. Rise and fire, young man. Osting with 14. The two players fighting for a rebound. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. And it looks like a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming up here. Yeah, it looked like it was a foul. Turnwald was committed driving. He was contacted not once but twice. Didn't get the call. But you're going to see the foul committed on Horseman as he's going to get to the line. That is the third foul whistled against Michael Woods as the first free throw is no good by Horseman. Again, free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. As Horseman able to split the pair of free throws. He's got seven tonight. And it's a six-point lead for Spencerville as we near the halfway mark of this fourth and final quarter. Yeah, it was important that he made one of two, keep it a two-possession game. Spencerville right now working this one around the perimeter. Here's Owen sends the ball. He'll find the bullet pass inside. Sudoff able to get in and score. He's up to 12. Oh, these Sudhoffs, man, or these sense balls are absolutely incredible with their quickness. Got the answer at the other end, Michael Turnwald. We're going to see it on the simplified flying replay. Able to drive to the basket, goes up and scores. Yeah, Randy used the left hand right there and the top of the box. You don't see that very often. Fourth foul picked up now by Sudoff. Yes. 
three-point play is going to be good. Now our officials holding up plays. They had a uh, substitution scores table that officials did not recognize right away, so they'll clean that up. Let's see if Audible plays off of the center balls, make them into jump shooters from here on out. Anytime they've applied pressure on them, they just dribble right by them. Yeah, that's just too easy, letting them get to the middle of the lane like that. That is Owen sends the ball. He'll get rid of it out behind him for Osting. Osting has come alive here in this fourth quarter. Gets the clear out. Now he's got a lane, doesn't score, but he's going to go and shoot a couple of Lee's famous rescue chicken free throws. Yeah, just a little bit of a hesitation up top. And you see, if you don't get help to stop on the ball, they're going to take you all the way to the glass. You're going to get the foul call by Lingles. First toss a little too strong for Osting. Osting with 14 all of a sudden. Had a quiet opening half. He'll stay at 14 as he misses both free throws, but he does come up with his own miss. And now you saw he uh, head coach Kevin Sensiball, the let's slow things down signal. Yeah, worked the clock. He got a little bit of a lead, five-point lead with three minutes. The clock is your friend. Great job by Osting hustling over top of Tretman to get that rebound. Will Sensiball gives into the corner. Spencerville going to run some time off. Under three to go in our Charles River scoreboard. Owen sends the ball. Move around just enough to get a five-second call taken off. Now, Audible's going to have to do something. They're going to have to either run and jump or go ahead and uh, commit a foul because otherwise Spencerville's just going to keep milking this clock. Will sends the ball. Gives into the corner. Good drive by Orr with the kick out for Owen and now we're going to get a whistle and it's like a little bump or push trying to fight through a screen. Now I know Horseman's upset about it but you're going to have to stop the clock right and this does that. Come on help defense. Yeah he doesn't make contact but they're going to call it a whistle. We got a timeout. Yeah, Spencerville with a quick 30 second timeout and again our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Let's see where they're going to take it out. Looks like it's going to be in the corner by the E on the baseline. So if you're out of it, if you get an opportunity, go ahead and trap that first pass in. See if you can get yourself a turnover. If you don't get the turnover, you're going to have to commit fouls. Don't let this clock get under two minutes down by five. You're sitting at two fouls. You're going to have to commit a couple more to get Spencerville to the free throw line. Clock down to 232 left to play in the scoreboard tonight, which again brought to you by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. So yeah, it's just too easy. Too oh. easy letting them get it in and they just hand it off to a guy that you can't guard. Horseman tried a little grab of the jersey. And now we see. Look, when the ball gets in the hands of a sense ball, they're just going to dribble drive right by you. They've established it all night long. You're going to have to run and help or deny them the basketball. So Coach Utendorf up with one of the officials pleading for something. Officials still, was there something needed cleaned up? That looks like we're finally back underway here with 224 and counting. Well, give and go along the baseline. That one nearly dangerous, but Spencerville able to maintain the possession as the dribbling continues here. Sensible putting on a show. Talk about someone that could be signed by the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, he's or easily on the N1 tour back in the day. He's got a little professor in him, doesn't he? And now we will get a whistle, a foul here on Ottaville as Andy Mormon picks up his second. Team's fourth. So the next one does put Spencerville at the line for the bonus. Just a shave over two to play. Holding out Will Sensible. 
A good job by Will, recognizing the count, attacking them, pulling it back out. Hosting with the ball in his hands. As that pu pushing continues, finally foul committed here with a minute 45 left showing. No, it's easy for Spencerville moving forward. You make your free throws, you take care of the basketball, you're going to go home with uh, two big wins back-to-back -back on this weekend. So, Osting at the line. He will be shooting two. And the first one is good. A handful of substitutions come in for the big green. Spencerville have its work to do at the free throw line. And the balance of this one starts with a couple of good ones out of Osting. Yeah, Osting has been a dominant force in this fourth quarter for Spencerville. 61-54. There's a ball knocked away. It's a turnover. Spencerville comes away with it once again. Coming up top of the key will be Owen sends the ball. Owen double teamed to find someone as it comes into the corner. Over to his brother Will. Will will send it into the corner. Oh, a good entry pass, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul. And the officials may consider if this one was intentional. Two-shot foul coming here as it's going to be the third on Garrett Trentman. Hosting at the line, getting two more where the first one's going to be up and good. Now the second one rattles around, drops in as well. Nine point lead for the Bearcats. As we near the one minute mark of this one, good drive. Schnipke lost the handle, turnaround, tough angle doesn't go. And pulling down the rebound is Sudoff, and we'll get a whistle and another foul coming quickly here. And it looks like more free throws coming for Spencerville's. We'll walk to the other end of the floor. And Sudoff will head to the line. Third foul committed there by Horstman. Set off with 12, and it'll stay there as the first one is no good as that one will hit the iron a couple of times. One more coming with exactly a minute to go on our Charles River scoreboard. One a little too strong. Everyone clears out of the lane very quickly. Michael Turnwald with it. Turnwald going end to end. His runner doesn't go. We're going to get a tie up fighting for the rebound. And this is going to be yet another Audeville foul. This one's going to go on Horseman, his fourth. And Spencerville will get a couple more free throws here with 52.7 to play. He'll set off right back to the line to shoot two more. First one, no good. Again, a free throws tonight are brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Devis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here that time. Set off, able to split the free throws. He's got 13 tonight. It's a 10 point lead for the Bearcats. Nice job with the baseline. That one's gonna be blocked. Might have been caught by the bottom side of the backboard. As very quickly, Spencerville bring this into the front court. The ball's knocked away. It's a turnover, and Ottaville will get it back. Turnwald, runner doesn't go. Flying in for the rebound, Horseman. Horseman gets the kick out. Langhalls sends it out. Schnipke, Schnipke fires it across. Ottaville trying to get someone to put up a shot. Three from the top of the key is going to be no good. Rebound's lost on the floor. As three bodies hit the deck. Looks like Landon Horseman got the worst of that one, is able to get up as the basket's going to be good on the other end with the exclamation point will be Owen Sensible. 
Ottaville will inbound it. They're going to let the clock run out in the final tonight here in Ottaville. We'll see Spencerville come to town. They pick up the win. They move to 3-2 and two as they knock off the big green of Ottaville this evening, 66-54. to 54. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we're going to head down to the court. Miles Holiday is going to check in with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return here on WOSN. 66-54 is our final. Spencerville gets the win over Ottaville. Part of the reason is because of the play of tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner, and that is the senior for the Bearcats. Evan Osting did a little bit of everything. He's the young man down on the floor next to our Miles Holiday. Evan, congr congratulations on a great win. You guys are down eight early. How are you able to come back and get this one? Uh, we talked at halftime that we needed to just lock in on, on defense, make sure we were talking, hold ourselves accountable, and then we just stuck to it. Yeah, this was a team that you guys were 1-2 and two coming into the week, got a huge win last night at Crestview, and got another big win here tonight. Now, what does this say about you guys moving forward? Uh, we just want to keep this on, the roll, on a roll. Um, we just want to keep continuing to do what we do best. Yeah, fourth quarter was absolutely huge by you. Uh, did you kind of get that feeling where you told your teammates, hey, I'm, I, I'm feeling good right now, get me the ball as much as possible? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, we knew that we had to pass it around, make sure everybody got the ball, see, find the best look, see whoever's open, and then just continue from there. You guys got a lot of great guard play on this team. If you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one tournament, tell me, you're the winner, right? Uh, I, I want to say yes, but it's, it's debatable. Uh, our, our starting point guard, Will Sensball, he's, he's pretty shifty, and our other guard, Owen Sensball, he's pretty good too. So it would be tough. Yeah, a lot of quickness on this team. Congratulations moving forward. What do you guys got to do to keep this train running down to track in a good way? Uh, we just got to stick to our core values, make sure that we're doing everything right, and locked in at practice. All right, last thing, half-court shot. You got kids playing down here, so I don't want you to hit them in the head. Let, let's go down here. Half court shot. It's been a while since someone's made it. You think you're going to okay. knock it down? Uh, depends. Should I go one hand or two hand? Doesn't matter, man. All right, I'll go two hand. I think just don't, don't hit it, Grandma. I'm worried. We got Grandma's walking yeah. around. All right, he's got it. He's got it. Ah, uh, oh, a little bit short. It's too bad you're going to win a thousand dollars. No, I'm just teasing. Congratulations, our player of the game. Nice job. Well, Miles again, a great job, Evan Osting of Spencerville. Our uh, Sally Insurance Hustle Award winner of the night. Miles does a great job, but, Ken, I think we found ourselves a new guy to come up here and work. So I want to thank everyone. <laughs> right, That's right. We want to thank everyone for making our night possible here in uh, Ottaville, starting with uh, Mark Odenweller, the athletic director here in Ottaville. We want to thank Gio, Tressel, Max, all uh, everyone it takes to put one of these together. So, guys, thanks for helping out on short notice. We appreciate it. So. We're even going to give them microphones let them talk. We love it. So thanks uh, for you guys stepping in. Of course, our guy behind us, Ken Reeker, making sure everything looks and sounds the way it's supposed to. So, again, 66-54. Spencerville on the road gets the win here in Ottaville tonight. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.